Hey guys, so uh, yeah, <clears throat> we did the daily lessons uh, this week, and it's time for the weekly lesson. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we click on the daily lesson, and we select weekly lesson. Wapa. And we have week nine. Yeah, I believe that's immediately. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> week nine. 26 February to 4 March, and it is today 4 March, so yeah, let's start. This will be not easy, I think, because we have a lot of uh, things to cover. Um, give a comment down below. How are you with your Portuguese lesson? Please let me know. I want to know. So, and if you have uh, some tips uh, for other people or for me, maybe uh, to learn the Portuguese quicker, <clears throat> leave that also down below in the comments. And we are going to start the daily, uh, no, not the daily lesson, the weekly lesson. <laughs> so, start. Dinheiro. All right, this one is easy. Dinheiro. Money. Fels. Dinheiro. Barato. Uh, cheap. Goedkoop. Barato. Barato. Moeda. A coin. Munt. Uh, what was she saying? Moeda. 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 Coins. Moeda. Or in Dutch, munt. Oh, we have, uh, by the way, uh, also a plant. It's pfeffermint. And we call this also munt. So, but that is not moeda, I think. Rico. Rico. Is uh, rich, right? And I believe in Spain, and I have told you already in another video of mine. But Rico in Spain is uh, handsome, or you are very nice, uh, like handsome, uh, uh, sexy, a little bit like this. That's Rico in Spain. But in this case, we are trying to talk. Portuguese, and then it's rich, <coughs> or <coughs> sorry, or in Dutch, rijk, rico. All right, this one is for me, like a Dutch guy, easy, because it's exactly the same words. Well, exactly without the little thing above the a. I never know. How you call these uh, things, but all right. Uh, gratis, Gra gratis. In Dutch, it's gratis, and in Portuguese, yeah, you can say gratis. They understand it, uh, but if you want to say it with a Portuguese uh, or a Brazilian Portuguese uh, accent, then it is gra gratis. I think. Well, it's free. In English, free. Gratis. Gratis. That's the Portuguese accent. Gratis. But gratis is also. They understand. Eu sou rico. Yeah, I uh, wish. <laughs> I wish I was it. But not right now. I hope in the future, but not right now. Uh, <laughs> For the English-speaking persons, uh, here is uh, it's saying, I am rich. Well, I'm not right now. I hope maybe in the future. But uh, yeah, right now, no. Um, Portuguese, how did he say this? I am rich. In Dutch, by the way, it is ik ben rijk. Eu sou rico. Ah, yeah, sure. Eu, eu sou rico. Eu sou rico. I am rich. Ik ben rijk. Yes. 
é bastante dinheiro. Well, if I am rich, I will never say this because I am rich. <laughs> um, that's a lot of money. That is veel geld. And in Portuguese, it is. É bastante dinheiro. Wow. Okay. Um, é bastante dinheiro. É bastante dinheiro. É bastante dinheiro. Wow, wow. That's a lot of money. Eu compro. Uh, I am buying. Ik koop. Eu compro. Ela compra. Uh, she is buying. Zij koopt. Ela compra. Was it? Ela compra. Yes. Ela compra. Ele compra. Uh, <laughs> uh, he is buying. Ele, ele, ele. Ele compra. Ele, ele compra. Ele compra. Yes. Uh, they are buying. Zij kopen. Uh, yes, that was, I believe, two compras. Two compras, yeah, two is you. You are, uh, they are buying. Tu compras. Uh, God, God, God. Am I sure? I am not sure. <laughs> Oh, what? Uh, ah, gee, I want to swear, but I uh, promised my girlfriend uh, uh, I, I, I try not to swear <laughs> because she dis uh, she don't like it. But I want to swear like, Jesus, God damn, why? What the fuck? All right. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm going for this one. Tu compras. Tu compras. Compras. Tu compras. They are buying. Zij kopen. Hopefully. Ah! No! Not! Okay. Elis compras. Comprom. Ah, bloody. Alright. Negócio. <laughs> All right. Um, this is why I wanted to swear. All right. And go on. Uh, company. Bedrijf. And I still find this word weird. Because I every time I see this word here, I think of negotiation. And not about a company. But... Company, the drive in Dutch is negócio. Negócio. Reunião. Uh, a meeting. Uh, you are meeting people, uh, new people or people you know, but you are meeting them. Uh, in Dutch, it's ontmoeting. Yes. And then uh, in Portuguese, re reunião. Reunião. Yeah, reunião. Renu re I don't know the word in English. In Dutch, also, we can call a reuni. They are also meeting people, but uh, that always are people uh, you know and didn't see for a long time. Uh, gee, I don't speak it uh, good in English, but uh, Rene, no, whatever, uh, go on. <laughs> Preço. Uh, price. And in Dutch, price. Pres Preço. 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 Uh, brand. Uh, oh God. 
in Dutch it's merk, English brand, and in Portuguese is Marco. Mark. Hey. Marca. Yeah, right. Five times clicking. All right, Marca. Check you. <laughs> I just keep on finding it funny that they. It sounds for me it's a little small. It's small. Uh, check you. <laughs> check you. A uh, check. Check you. Company. Why I do not get this? Company. Uh, was just a couple of minutes ago something completely else. Company. Bedrijf. Ah, bloody hell. Compania. Here. That's company. Why are you saying that company is also a... What was Compania. It? Oh, God. What, what was the word? Two minutes ago, we had another word for, uh, for this uh, company. Uh, well, maybe I uh, remember it later on. But that was not the word. Compania. All right. Bedrijf. Pode se pagar com um cheque? Wow. Can you slow down, please? Pode se pagar com um cheque? What? All right. Let, let, let's break it down. Um, in Dutch. Can you make a check betalen? English. Can you uh, pay with a check? Portuguese. Pode se pagar com um cheque? What you say? I hear. Pode se pagar com um cheque? Pode se say pagar? Pode se say pagar? Pode se pagar com um cheque? Com cheque? Pode se say pagar com cheque? This is what I hear. I don't know. Maybe you hear something else. Give a, a comment down below. But I hear this. Pode se say pagar com cheque? Pode se pagar com cheque. Hopefully. Yes. Eu estou aqui a negócios. I am here for business. Ik ben hier voor zaken. And then it was. Eu estou aqui a negócios. Oh God. Uh, it was. It was what? Eu estou aqui a negócios. Oh, eu, eu, of course, I, eu estou, eu estou aqui a negócios, aqui, negócios, eu estou aqui a negócios, a negócios, all right, this was, by the way, the word for business, they told us that negocio, not G, negocios, was business. Eu estou aqui a negócios. Eu estou aqui a negócios. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I'm trying to do it in, in my mind and it doesn't sound good in my mind. So... Uh, probably it uh, also not sounds good when I try to speak this. All right, I'm here for business. Ik ben hier voor zaken. Eu estou aqui a... Blah. That's what I meant. Eu estou aqui a negócios. Eu estou aqui a negócios. Eu, es... Eu... Eu estou aqui a negócios. <sighs> Eu estou aqui a negócios. Uh, hopefully, yes. Contador. Oh, yeah. Our uh, bicycle guy from the Tour de France. Contador. Uh, accountant. Well, and then that's also accountant. So, contador. Bibliotecario. 
Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, I was thinking this was the word in Portuguese. No, this is the word in Dutch. Bibliothecarius. It's not a great word to say in Dutch also. But, alright. Uh, librarian? Bibliothecario. I find this word uh, easier than our word. Bibliothecaris. Bibliothecario. Wow. Librarian. Bibliotecario. Bibliotecario. Enfermeiro. Ooh. That is probably nurse. Uh, oh god. Enfermeiro. I think nurse. In Dutch, verpleger. Enfermeiro. Yes. Teacher. That's not very hard because I will be. Without seeing the word, it is professor in Portuguese. Tradutor. What is tradutor? Tradutor. Ah, tradutor. Well, it's professor. Professor. Teacher. In Dutch, leraar. Professor. A enfermeira chamou. Oh. Oh, okay. I was thinking there is coming something more, but no. Uh, the nurse has called. The verpleegster heeft gebeld, and that was in Portuguese. A enfermeira chamou. A enfermeira. A enfermeira chamou. A enfermeiro chamou. Something like this. A enfermeira chamou. A enfermeiro chamou. Hopefully. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Esta é a professora. Okay, all right. Uh, that is the Lira Resh. That is the teacher. Uh, Esta é a professora. Esta é a professora. Esta é a professora. Yes. Eu vendo. I am selling. Ik verkoop. Eu vendo. Get away. Vendo. Eu vendo. Eu vendo. Tu vendes. You are selling. Jij verkoopt. Tu vendes. Ela vende. Uh, he is selling. Uh, ela vende. 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 Ela vende. Ela vende. He is selling. Hij verkoopt. Ela vende. What? She's ah uh, crap. Sure. Ela uh, um. All right. Yeah. My dad. All right. She is selling. Zij verkoopt. Ella vende. He is selling. Hij verkoopt. Is Ella vende. Eli vende. Eli. Eli. Eli vende. Niet Ella. Nós vendemos frutas e vegetais. Wow. Nós vendemos what? Nós vendemos frutas e vegetais. Okay, we are selling fruits and vegetables. Wij verkopen fruit en groenten. Nós vendemos frutas e vegetais. Vocês vendem frutas e vegetais? Verkopen jullie fruit en groenten? Are you selling wait, wait? Uh, a little bit of uh, an itch. Again. Verkopen jullie fruit en groenten? Are you selling fruit and vegetables? Voze. Vocês vendem frutas e vegetais? Again. Vocês vendem frutas e vegetais? Voze vendem... What? Vocês vendem frutas e vegetais? Right. Okay. Voze vendem... Voze vende vende 
frutas vegetais. Vocês vendem frutas e vegetais? And I still think that there is, has to be an E. Uh, uh, like this. Você vende frutas e vegetais? Vocês vendem frutas e vegetais? Yeah, I think this is correct with the E. I don't hear the E, but I make this mistake uh, before, so I will not do making this mistake again. Hopefully, you will see. Now the E is not uh, part of this sentence. <laughs> For safe fandoms, fruit is vegetais. Yes, it's correct. Yeah. Vegetais. All right, vegetables, vegetais, groente. Fruta. A fruit in Dutch, fruit, and in Portuguese, fruta. Vender. Uh, vender uh, is uh, selling, verkopen. Oh, my nose, my nose. No, I don't have to uh, sneeze. All right, market, markt, uh, mercado was that, I believe. Mercado. Mercado. Yes. Chinch. Uh, jeans, yes. Uh, Spijkerbroek in Dutch, or also jeans, and in English, of course, also jeans. Jaqueta. Uh, jacket. Ah, now I hear it. Yeah, okay. Jacket, jaqueta. It's almost the same. Uh, jacket, uh, jas in Dutch. Jaqueta. Roberto jaqueta and the scooters. That's a Dutch. Band in the, I believe, the 70s or the 80s. And it was an uh, Italian Dutch singing guy, something like this. But I hear this word and I have to think about Jacquetta. Uh, Roberto Jacquetta and the Scooters, that was it. So probably something like uh, Roberto Jacket and the uh, Scooters. Well, all right. Jaqueta. <laughs> Guarda chuva. Oh yeah, that was the umbrella. Uh, Guarda chuva. Umbrella para plu. It's French, by the way. Uh, shop. Was vestido. No, loja. That was loja. A shop, winkel in Dutch, and in Portuguese, loja. 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 Eu estou usando um vestido azul. Wow. I'm wearing a blue dress. Ik heb een blauwe jurk aan. And then? Eu estou usando um vestido azul. Eu, I, estou... Eu estou usando um vestido azul. Usando... Eu, es... Eu estou usando... Eu estou usando um vestido azul. Um vestido... Ah. Eu estou usando um vestido azul. Um vestido... Um azul? Uh. Again. Eu estou usando um vestido azul. I think I make the same mistake again. This is not good. This is like this. Eu estou usando usando um vestido um azul. Eu estou usando um vestido azul. Hopefully it's good. Ah, fuck you. Eu estou usando um <laughs> Festival Azul. All right. Well, uh, the first time it was correct. O homem está usando um chapéu. Wow. Okay. Um was uh, the man is wearing a hat. The man draagt een hoed. O homem está usando um, um chapéu. O homem. O homem está usando um chapéu. 
Está. O homem está. O homem está usando um chapéu. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here it's. O homem está usando um chapéu. Yes, that's the. O homem. Oh God, what was it? O, o homem... homem está usando um chapéu. O homem está. O homem está usando um chapéu. Um chapéu. O homem está usando um abaladiel. The man is wearing a hat. O homem está usando um chapéu. Where the L is, I have no idea, but you have to pronounce this word like chapéu. O homem está usando um chapéu. Alright. Yes. Right. So, this was it already again. Well, it was not easy. Not very hard, but was certainly not easy. Uh, leave a comment down below so I know uh, how you think about uh, the lesson and how you do it with the Portuguese lesson. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, of course, and hit the notification bell so you will get a notification for the new videos. So, for now, I see you next time in the next video and have a great uh, day or night or morning or evening or night or whatever. <laughs> Um, as you can see, it's getting dark here, so I am uh, getting off and I say to you goodbye, ciao ciao, ciao,